Let's see who all comes in because I didn't give any warning I was doing this. I didn't. Well, normally I go live tonight with Gil. Well, someone's in there lurking. It's not showing as anyone in here, but it's got a thumbs up. What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? Gil had to cancel tonight, so hey, you're gonna get a short ride with the horse. I don't know who's in here, but I hope you guys are having a good night. We finally have some beautiful weather today. Hope you guys can hear me, because I think I have my hand over where the speaker is, so it might be a little bit muffled, so I apologize for that. But most of you guys are in here, I think, just to see the horse. <laughs> Gaming with Eric Boyce, how you doing? Oh, we're nowhere near Florida. We're in Indiana. We're in Indiana. We're nowhere near Florida. But we do have some rain coming in tonight. We got a long, long ways from Florida, though. <laughs> How you doing, though? I didn't really give people a warning I was going live. I normally go live with Gil tonight. That got canceled. He, uh... Couldn't, couldn't stream tonight, so I thought, well, I'm over here with the horse. People have been asking when I'm live on the horse next. I went live on Mother's Day, but uh, I got rained on. <laughs> so I thought, well, what the heck, I'll do a short stream. It won't be outrageously long because it's getting dark. The horse is doing good. Roseanne Lawrence, how you doing? Great to see you. Hope you're doing well. I said, I figured I could at least do a short live with the horse because, hey, why not? <laughs> she hates passing this thing. That's her least favorite thing to pass is that skate park. Lots of loud noises on the metal. See, we're finally starting to open back up. It's nice. It's nice to finally be uh, being able to go out again. <laughs> yeah, see, there's six in here. No one really talking, but hey, that's all good. Enjoy the view. <laughs> I got to go through my membership, too. I got some new stickers that we're going to add. I'm going to change a couple up. I got Tom's working sticker, finally. I just got to go through and do it. Skills, skills, what's up? See, I figured I'd go live for a little bit. I'm used to going live tonight for, like, three hours. <laughs> just, just gave your dog a bath. Hey, it's, it's, it's cooling off now. It's about 50 degrees now, but it was like almost 80 all day today. It was beautiful. We're finally getting some decent weather, which is well overdue. Well overdue. Although it's getting like 40 and yeah. <laughs> Not ideal clothes for this type of weather, but hey. <laughs> Luckily, I'm always hot. So how's everyone doing tonight? How's the back feeling, Gil? you lounging in your, uh, your recliner. <laughs> yeah, I'm broken half. My back hates me right now. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. But at least you got a lot of work done. You got a lot of work done. At least. But, yeah, I'm sure your back absolutely hates you. It's kind of like my body hated me the last two weeks with those eight-mile rides. My body was kind of going, yes, yeah, screw you. You're, you're done. Don't ask us to do anything. Scoppa Haynes, what's up? How you doing? She's looking because the dog last time we were out right about here, a dog decided it wanted to try to be friends. Horses don't like dogs that much. <laughs> Scratch and bow on the go. What's up? What's up? To readjust rain. Whee! Oh, that's awesome, Gaffa. Thanks for helping steal scrap. 
And Gil, if you'd like to um, run that that link, feel free to. Dick Marks, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Jennifer Keaton, how you doing? Great to see you. Yeah, if you want to run that link, Gil, you're more than welcome to. You know you are. I always give you permission. <laughs> I don't know how close you are to getting to the goal, but that's hopefully getting close. Fail Army, what's up? How you doing? Love the title. Hey, what it is, it's a virtual horseback ride. I'm talking to you, but you're watching the horse. You're really here for the horse. I know what you're here for. You can't even see me, so you can't even say you're here for me. You're here for the horse. Yeah, Barlow, you're the star of the show today. And everyone always asks, what's her name? Her name is Barlow. She is 14 years old. I'm in the recliner. Well, okay. If Goffo wants to run the link because he is blue, you can run that um, go front. Yeah, go friend me. Go fund me link. Go friend me too. Yeah. <laughs> Readings, Mr. D. Quen, uh, equestrian. Yes, equestrian. He is. Yes, sir. Uh, with the heating pad. Well, I kind of expect that. You know, it's kind of nice ride when it's getting a little bit darker out because the sun isn't shining on the chat so bright where I can't see it. It's hard to see the chat when the sun's really bright. It's really hard to see the chat. Barlow's feeling good tonight. She's like actually enjoying this ride, I think. She's like, hey, hey, I got to play outside today and I'm not going for a long ride. This is cool. She likes these rides. She likes them. My last ride was on Mother's Day and it rained on us. <laughs> What was the channel that you guys were talking about? Um, that would be Scrapyard Kingdom. I might still Scrapyard Kingdom, still Scrap Kingdom. I'm probably saying the wrong name every one of those times. He's changed it too many times. But yeah, it's um, Gil knows. Here for you. You're here for me, not for the horse. Well, okay, I am a little loved, huh? <laughs> I'm a little loved. I still say most of you are here for the horse. Steel Scrap Kingdom. Yeah, like I said, he's changed it on me too many times. I'm like a steel uh, uh, something. It's something. <laughs> Gil knows it. Thank you, Gaffa. There's the link to the GoFundMe they were running, Roseanne. Um, Gaffa just posted it. So, uh, yeah, that's the link. Like I said, I am more than willing to run that link and help him out. I know he's going through kind of a rough time right now. Well, not kind of. He is going through a rough time right now. Miss, uh, Mrs. Ed episode? Oh, yes, because she is a Mrs. and she's, she's talking to you, I guess. Just pretend it's her talking and not me. Can, can you guys hear the clip clop? ASMR. It's ASMR. This is only ASMR I will listen to. The clip clop of horses. I love that sound. And there's some buzzing of a light. A little bit of buzzing. Strangely familiar. Is Crystal a shapeshifter? Sure, sure. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I want to be something else. I don't know if I'd be a horse, though. I'd like to be a little more invisible. How about a fly on the wall? That would be interesting. A fly on the wall would be very interesting. Just kind of be able to listen in on some of these conversations. And Liz Vlogs, how you doing, darling? Great to see you. Like I said, everyone always asks when I'm going live on the horse next. I uh, wonder if B-Lady will make it in because she's one of the main ones that asks. She's like, when are you going on the pony? When are you going on the pony? If you guys could share it out, that would be great. I can't share it out because I'm on a phone and live. and I, I, I don't think I can share it out. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I'd probably end the live if I tried. <laughs> I probably would. So if you could share it out, it is greatly appreciated. My last live stream got ended in like 17 minutes because of rain coming in. Mad that I have to get my ear checked. That's, that's, or, yeah, my ear checked. I'm reading the, reading it, it's hard to read 100% when you're looking at a phone. But I'm sorry to hear that, Endless. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully it's nothing major and they can help you out and all that fun stuff. Is my niece was here... She would be here for the horse. Yeah, that's most are for the horse, I think. 
I can honestly say that most come out for the horse. They're like, oh, a pony. A pony. Forget R5. Who's R5? This is this is the, the star of the show tonight. This is R5. You didn't get the guild skills in R5 show. You got the pony show. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. Hey, you know I enjoy the guild skills in R5 show. But it is fun to go out on the horse, too. This is enjoyable for me. The wind is picking up. Wasn't there a song at night? Uh, 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 yeah, there's something like that. Something like that. Well, I hope it's nothing major, unless I do. I hope it's nothing major. The wind is picking up. Whew. Like I said, I'm not wearing the clothes for being out in 40 degrees, but hey, it's all good. I done hurt myself. I'm laid up in my recliner. Yeah, exactly. You you just had to done hurt yourself on a Saturday. Couldn't be a Sunday. Couldn't be a Monday. No, a Saturday. It had to be a Saturday. Just had to be, Bill. You know, does, does your back know it can't do stuff like that? We got a show. The show must go on. Thank you, Bill Army. Thank you, Endless. Yeah, the picture on the, like, the thumbnail is actually a picture from... Two Saturdays ago? Two Saturdays ago, I rode her into town. Eight miles into town. <laughs> um, it cost me roughly $350 a month. It's $300 a month in board, and then I pay somewhere around, let's just average around $50 a month. $25, probably like $325. Like $25 a month, if I average it all out, that will cover like vet bills, farrier throughout the year, um, her teeth being done. She just had her teeth done uh, three weeks ago. That's that's a more hefty bill, but they needed to do them. They had to file those teeth down because she was cutting her mouth up. She's got the farrier coming out the 28th. They'll do her feet up. But that's a cheap bill. So, yeah, it, it probably runs about three twenty-five a month is what it runs me. But in reality, that's pretty cheap. Some barns cost $1,000 just to board. So you can get upwards of $1,000 a month to own a horse. <laughs> I can't pay that. 300 is is higher than I'd like to pay at times. Destinations Chronicles, hey, 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 what's up? How you doing? It's worth, it is, it's, it's a great stress reliever. I will pay the bill gladly because it does definitely relieve the stress. Horses eat money, yep. They do, they do. They eat hay, but it's really money. But no, like, I actually... Used to manage a barn that cost $1,000 a month in board. Um, they were required to take lessons, which were $100 per lesson. Um, they had to take one a week at least. And there, it was mostly kids that boarded there. Most of these kids were like 10, 11, 12 years old, and they owned $10,000 horses. It was ridiculous. Going to go grab some more. Well, I hope your back feels better, Gil. I hope your back feels better, although it still did get the babo, but I hope your back feels better. In and out. Oh, not a problem, not a problem tonight. I didn't have the kids. I just, uh, I ordered out. Burrito. So you own the horse? Yes, I own the horse. She is mine. She is mine. We own her. Um, my dad actually owns about 15 horses. But this one is mine. This one is actually my husband. He's the one that trained her, but now he doesn't ride her ever, and it's everyone else that rides her. And thank you for running that link, Fail Army. Um, scrap, or Steel Scrap Kingdom, he's hit a hard time. His wife has coronavirus. He's got to kind of stay out of all the scrap yards and all that stuff right now, which is how he makes his money because he's got to wait that two-week um, isolation, basically, um, to see if he has it. So if anyone is able to even donate a dollar, it does help him. It does. He's kind of, he's being directly affected by that lovely C word. The word we all try not to say too much of. You can tell it's getting dark. We got lights. But it's plenty of light to still see, so we're just going to go enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I meant to be here an hour ago, so I wouldn't have been out in the dark. <laughs> but it's all good. It's your shadow. She didn't know what to think of that. She saw the shadow, she's like, whoa, what's that? She's not used to being out when it gets dark. 
does your horse have headlights? No, no headlights, no headlights. But we got lots of lights on the street that we're on. People can see us. <laughs> and I can see them. So we're good. We're good. I'm going to say we're good at least. <laughs> I wanted to go for a little bit longer of a ride, but I just didn't get out early enough. So instead, we're just taking our nice leisure ride. <laughs> She's looking at everything. She's like, what's that? What's that? What's that? She's not used to these lights being on. I don't know if you can hear the music, but if you can, yeah, I'm not playing it. I'm on a horse. I can't play music. It can't be me. Psycho Ducky, what's up? How you doing? Great to see ya. Mostly forwards so are pretty much good. Oh, yeah. She's, she's flicking her ears. Like, it's not an anger thing or, like, a, a scared thing or anything like that. All her ear flicking is because she hears me talking. She's very in tune to voice and leg commands. Um, I actually ride her mostly off of voice and leg. Um... So she actually is just listening to me. She's like, what are you saying, Mom? What's up? What do you want? Uh, PD Tech, what's up? How you doing, ma'am? The first time you see me ride over here, I ride over here all the time. <laughs> I usually go in the daytime. <laughs> you have a great night. <laughs> Brighten up someone's day at least. Um, I've owned her since she was um, born. She is technically a pony. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, horses are a certain height. They're not necessarily, pony doesn't mean baby. Full is baby, pony is just size. Um, so she's actually an inch shy of being considered a horse. She is a pony. Um, but we've had her since the day she was born. My dad bred her, so we've had her all her life. Yeah, I'm going to take my horse all the, down the Old Town Road. The kids at the skate park always think that if they're there and they see us come out. They're like, I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. But no, yeah, she's she's um 14 years old. We've had her since the day she was born. We trained her when she was four years old. She jumps. She does everything. We've got some videos up of her jumping. She does a little of everything. She's taught all my kids how to ride. She's a good little girl. She's a good pony. And you can see the spot on her neck. She's a paint pony. But yeah, it's, we've had her all her life, and everything that she knows has been taught to her from one of us. <laughs> some of the bad habits and some of the good. Can't blame the bad habits on other people either, because no one really rides her besides our family. <laughs> but she doesn't really have any bad habits. She's a very good girl. There's not many horses you could trust to literally ride next to no contact on her mouth, just down an actual town street, cars passing her and all that stuff, and just not have any issues. You don't get that very often. So the fact that we can do that on her, she's a good girl. And I rode her, like I said, last two weeks. Um, I rode her into the main, main town where I was on the busiest roads there are in town. Um, fire trucks going by, big rig trucks going by, trains going by, and it didn't phase her. None of that phased her. The only thing she didn't like was having to stand, um, stand and wait. But no, it's, yeah, it's just, uh, that's the only thing she didn't like. But she enjoys this. Hey, Lee, what's up, darling? Turn the ribs over your back. Awesome. I was going to make ribs tonight, and then I was like, I got no kids. Why am I going to spend all that time making ribs for two of us? I'm just going to order out. <laughs> I got lazy. I got lazy. <laughs> I was going to smoke ribs. I had every intention of smoking ribs, and I changed my mind. See, I got to get Haley up on the horse more and get her trotting, and get her doing some of this stuff. We're going to teach her how to do all the stuff that we know how. <laughs> but no, like you see, I barely have any contact on her. She just kind of, she just walks along. I'm not worried about what she's going to do. Order out. Yes, that's what I did. I, I ordered out. I had a, 
we, we had some very tasty burritos. Some very tasty burritos. She goes, Mom, what are these weird noises at night? <laughs> yes, they are very good. Smoke ribs are amazing, but it involved me having to cook, and I just chose not to. <laughs> I chose not to! I, I did smoke some uh, chicken um, legs last night. That's what I had last night. Smoked chicken legs, but I didn't want to do anything tonight. Not there yet. What's up? How you doing? Great to see you. Yeah, you know, at times it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Like I said, it's getting a little dark, so it's a little harder to see her, I'm sure. Well, it's, it's, it's a cool-looking silhouette. It's a cool-looking silhouette, at least. No, she, she's good, though. People are starting to shoot fireworks off. Now, that's something that's bugging me. We're not in July yet, and we got fireworks. People are so bored, they want to shoot the fireworks off. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a great idea. Until an animal freaks out. <laughs> and if Andrew is in here, you go, yep, namely, your animal that you're riding with no... With no uh, helmet on and everything else. I'm bad. I'm bad, I'll admit it. If he's lurking, no helmet. You know it. You already know that answer. She knows her route. She's just going on her route right now. She's like, I know which way to go. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow. I want to actually get out and ride her again tomorrow, but I think it's supposed to rain. And it, well, it is supposed to rain, but I think it's going to rain. So what's everyone's plans this weekend? Is um, anyone's town starting to open up where they're able to get out again? Or are you still stuck in and not able to go out? Rather see a horse coming at me than a moose. <laughs> yeah, a moose would kind of scare me, but that's also because I've never been around moose. I don't know, I don't know how um, violent they get if they come and approach you in the wild. I really don't know. But yeah, I'd rather see a horse. <laughs> but a wild horse can get pretty um, vicious too if they're protecting their herd. She's walking at a nice, brisk walk. Like, Indiana's slowly starting to open back up. We're starting to get more um, things open to go to. JLA, what's up? How you doing? Great to see you. Yeah, it's supposed to rain tomorrow by us. It's supposed to stay around the 80s, but it's supposed to rain. Yuck. Rain and more rain. We've had so much rain lately, it's ridiculous. But, no, um, we're starting to open up in Indiana finally, so restaurants are starting to open. Stores are starting to open back up. And so it's kind of nice. We're finally getting to be able to go back out again. You doing good? Going through more of your stuff? I need to do the same. I need to do the same. Dog's looking at us like, what's that? I'm on the horse. Here, you want proof? I'm on the horse. See? I'm the horse. Ride it. It's me. It's me. But I'm going to go back to the better picture. Because, eh, eh. It's like, no, you're going to show your seal. <laughs> it's not virtual. I'm not playing a video game. I'm riding the horse and talking to the chat. I've gotten good at multitasking. Oh, it is not bad night. It's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, cool, but it's not bad. You hear the fireworks? There's some fireworks being shot off. She's like, I, I don't know what that is. What's that noise? Awesome shadow. Yeah, we lost the shadow now, but I love the shadows. The shadows are something that just kind of intrigued me. I love them. But yeah, like, it's, um, 
it's like around 47, 48 degrees, I think, right now. So it's starting to get a little bit cooler, but it's still not bad. I'm not going to complain. I love the sound of the click, 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 click. It's a beautiful sound. I kind of like this lighting. This is pretty, pretty cool looking right here. This lighting is really cool looking. I can see what you guys see, and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is, I call it a virtual ride, but it's not, I, I'm not playing a virtual game. I am riding the horse. Completely different style of live stream, huh? <laughs> I've done them before. I just haven't done them much lately because we're just getting out of winter for the most part, and I normally don't do them at night. <laughs> it started getting dark by the time we went out, so yeah, I don't normally go out this late. But we can still see. It's still slightly light. It's not as light as I'd like it to be. <laughs> Hello, Dwayne. What's up? How you doing? Great to see you. Oh, no. She knows the route. I can put my reins down on her neck right now, and she would bring us home. She might run home, but she'll bring us home. We're going straight to returning, Barlow. You can go either or. Either or. She goes, we're going straight. I think I know what she's doing. She knows her route. Like, she, if we do this, this is a normal ride for us. We go down this route, like, almost every time I ride her. I'm riding into town. I'm just over in town right now by the houses and stuff. It's kind of hard to see now because it's getting dark. But just by the houses, I run around the school. It's not that far from the farm where she's boarded. I just kind of go into town. This is a normal route for her. Um, now, the last two weekends, I was going to go live, and I just, I didn't. I, I wanted to enjoy the ride. I went like eight or four miles one way into town and then four miles back. So I went way further into town than this. Didn't see what you said, Roseanne. I couldn't read it. <laughs> I was talking. Crazy land! Whee! What's up, chick? What's up? How you doing, crazy lady? Love you, girl. I'd rather be out riding a horse than sitting here and watching <laughs> the adventures of Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I'd rather ride the horse, too. <laughs> I would rather ride the horse, too. There's a cool shadow. There's a cool shadow. No, it's, it's, um, it's going to get a little bit dark up here because there's not many lights on that street, but it's all good. Oh, I love the clip clap. That is my favorite sound. I love it. I'm not an ASMR person, but that is the ASMR sound I can deal with. Oh, she's good. She'll get water in about five minutes. <laughs> oh, crazy Ann girly. Love your girl. Either way, love your girl. You're on panel. Of course, you're on panel. <laughs> you can't see her really. It's a little dark. Here, we'll, we'll, look. You can see her neck. She's got a white spot. You can see the white spot. <laughs> Uh, here, you can see me better, I guess. Oh, JLA, she didn't even go a mile. She went like a quarter of a mile. She had water like maybe, what, 20 minutes ago? You can lead a horse to water, you can't make them drink. No, she's not. She ain't afraid. Does she look afraid? Is she running away? Uh-uh. You can you can see me better than a horse right now, so you need to see the shadows of me. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. From me to the horse, you're getting carrots from JLA. He love you. She loves carrots? She loves carrots. She loves carrots. She's actually got some treats in her stall waiting for her when she gets home. And we're almost home. So it's not that far. She will survive. I promise. What kind of sh horse is she? She's a paint quarter horse cross. Her name is Barlow. Barlow. 14-year-old Barlow. Paint quarter horse pony. But we, paint is like a color. Paint is essentially a color. That's what the spots are. Um, a paint is a, a spotted horse. So essentially she's a quarter horse with the paint coloring. And her color is bay and white. Bay is like a dark brown with black black highlight points. Like her mane and tail are black. And her legs are black. Now you got a little horse lesson going on. 
I'm teaching you a little bit. Yeah, she's 14 years old, JLA, which is the prime for a horse. They can live to be 30 and 40 years old. 14 is actually prime. Well, I answered your question before you even asked it. 30 to 40 years. So she's actually the prime. Now you can kind of see that spot on her side. So she's actually in her prime right now. Typically, especially when you have kids riding the horse and stuff, or when you're doing stuff like this even, because this is kind of something that a lot of horses would spook and wouldn't like, um, you don't want to have, like, a t uh, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old. You're looking for, like, a horse that's 14, 15, 16 years old. Something that's a little bit older, a little bit more seasoned, and used to this stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm hoping to start doing a little bit more of the ride streams now as it's getting warmer. Um, we don't like going live all the time on the channel anymore, but it is getting warmer. And people enjoy this, so we don't get as big of a turnout as we do in the regular live streams. But there are enough of you guys that really do enjoy these live streams. So I'm going to start trying to do more of these on a regular basis. She's at the age where she's like, I have to walk around. Oh, sure. Dumpster Diva, what's up? How you doing, darling? Dumpster Diva's got some horses. She's at 14, which is not too old, not too young. She's a prissy little diva. She is. Choice of words there, yes. Choice of words. She is. She's a prissy little thing. <laughs> And there's still kids at the skate park. Still kids at the skate park. And she don't see them, so she's like, oh. She don't like the skate park. It is Dumpster Diva. I actually, um, last two weeks I went four miles one way into town and then four miles back. So we did an eight mile ride total. Um, right through the main strip of town. Nothing phases her. The only thing that phases her is the skate park. She doesn't like the skate park. Um, but I had a couple, like, uh, the drive-by birthday parties everyone's doing because of COVID. I had a couple of those that I've been doing for families because they can't do anything fun. Oh, yeah, they can. They can get pretty crazy. Um, but, no, I, I've been doing the drive-by or ride-by birthday parties as I'm able to. Um, because so the kids really get a kick out of it, and usually when I, I get off and I let them get on her saddle and I walk them up and down the sidewalk a couple times, and that's kind of like their birthday present from me. <laughs> like I said, of course, it's getting dark now, so you can't see much of her. You can't see much of her. Um, but no, she's really good about stuff. Like, we're riding right now right alongside the railroad track. You can't really tell. Um, she's used to that. She crosses railroad tracks. She crosses bridges. She doesn't have an issue with any of that stuff. Like, she's very laid back about things. So, we got lucky with her. We did. We got lucky with her. Last weekend. Had rode the pony. Awesome. Yeah, you know, horses are so relaxing. They're great for stress relief. They really are. Wouldn't trade it. Forget the antidepressants. Put, they put me on a horse. <laughs> Oh, your, your butt does. Your butt does. Your back does, too, actually. Let's just be honest. After an eight-mile ride, your whole body hurts. You, you, it's really, it is. Your whole body hurts, and I'm out of shape. I really don't ride as much as I would like to. Um, so, I'm out of shape. But I can't lie and say, oh, no, you don't hurt at all. No, you do. You do. <laughs> you, you walk around a little bow-legged with a limp for a little while. <laughs> I'm going to try to show you guys, um, when I get off, I'll show you her. We're on the gravel now. <laughs> She's home. You can't see. You can kind of see the outline of the barn. She's home. Luckily with her, I don't have to do much. So there's not a lot of riding I have to do, but you still feel it. You still feel it. I couldn't imagine being like, I, I would love to go back to that fail army. Um, oh, she's um, 14 three. 
she's 14, no, 14 two. She's 14 two. 14 hands, two inches. Um, so each hand is four inches. So <laughs> there you go. Get, do some little math. She loves it. She's very good. She's very good. Oh, I'm going to stop her here. Um, you're going to see probably a big black. I ain't going to see much of what you say for a second because I'm getting off. Uh, see if you can see her a little bit, a little bit. She got some like I can't bring her into the barn easily because they always have the radio going to keep the horses um, company. <laughs> so um, if I bring her in the barn, we're gonna have that saddle dumpster diva is the saddle that Scrap and Pallet Man found. That's the one that he found in the dumpster, um, the garbage, not the dumpster, I guess. Here, I'm gonna actually see. I'm going to try to mute the music fast, guys. There. I got it for a second, but it's all good. We'll, we'll pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> It was only a second. I was trying to uh, turn it off. <laughs> uh, but no, like, um, she's 14-2. She's a paint. There we go. There you go. Yeah, you can see her. But yeah, that's the saddle I got from Scrap and Pallet Man out of the trash. Someone threw that away. Can you believe that, Dumpster Diva? You've got a horse, so you know how expensive those things are. That thing is beautiful. I don't know if you follow Scrap and Pallet Man at all, and if you saw him pull that out of the trash, but that is a beautiful saddle, and it fits her perfect. She's like, Mom, wh why are you still talking? Can we just hurry along here? No, she's mine. She is my horse. She's mine. I own her. Oh, Borrows. The artist devil, what's up? How you doing? She's like, Mom, really? Really? <laughs> she's, yeah, she's like, take it off already, Mom. I'm not going to see the chat, guys. There's your forewarning. My hair's a mess. My hair's a mess. But I'm going to unpack this girl. Because that short ride was plenty. How did I come up with I don't know what you said. I got, the, I got the phone literally just sitting on a stall right now. So you can see us, but I can't fully see you. Because <laughs> I'm unpacking her. But I figured I'd just keep it going for now. I normally would end it as soon as I get in the barn. But I might as well just keep it going for a little bit longer. How you doing, Artist Devil? Hope you're doing well. And that is not me hitting the horse, that is just the strap hitting me. <laughs> I'm hitting myself instead. Oh no, it's not raining now. It's supposed to rain tomorrow um, and Monday, but it's not raining right now. Um, her name, Barlow, my mom and dad bred her and they actually named her. I did not name her. She came with that name. Um, but yeah, it's not really a name I came up with. So I don't even know what it necessarily would mean. Just saying that. See the pony. See, normally you guys don't really get to see her because I'm riding the whole time. I know you want the treats. She goes, Mom, I see those treats in your hand. You don't even care about the bit being in your mouth, do you? I was taking the bit off. You just got me. Did you growl at me? She growled at me. 
forgot what animal she was. She's like, uh, no, give me my treat. I can trust her, luckily. Not really anywhere she could go. There, see, now you guys are all yelling about her being poor pony about the water. She's getting treats now. Yeah, she's actually pretty muscular. She's pretty, she's pretty muscular. She's not too um, chunky at all. She used to be a chunky little thing, but she's pretty muscular now. I had to roll the teeth down because I couldn't, couldn't do everything. Crazy and wee! What's up? Borrow. Last one, borrow. Okay. We got a horse staring us down like, uh, hello, I'm here. I'm here. Can I have one of those? Another one down there. But there, now you can get a better look of just her. Just her. Oh, yeah, she loves apples and carrots. But, yeah, that's where the paint comes in. She's got those spots. The kids say, is it on this side or the other side? They say she's got a one. That's her one. They say she's got a one on her. They also call that a one right there. <laughs> so they say she's got ones at spots. Come on, Pony. Thank you. The brushes are in the tack box. I'll end up brushing her before I leave. I'm just bringing her back to her stall so she can eat her hay, drink her water, all that fun stuff. I'll borrow. I'll borrow. I need your head. She's like, hey, Mom, come back. I got to help her. I got to help her. That's Aries. See? Got a nice little gray. Jealous. Jealous much. And we got this one. Nice big pony. And a pretty pony there. Mr. PJ. I'll give you a tour of the barn a little bit. <laughs> That's Dante. Forget your name. Izzy. I couldn't remember your name. <laughs> this is Barlow's best friend. Luna. She's an old girl. An old Arab. That's Barlow's best friend. You got that one. And we got this guy. Kitty cat. Got a book. <laughs> Sunday. Mike Michelle no no creations. How you doing? Great to see ya. Sunday skills men. They got the more over there. But yeah, you guys got to kind of uh, see her a little bit closer. All that fun stuff. I always put the finger in front of the camera. Never fails. Never fails. I tore apart my bridle a little bit too. place. Like, this is one of the cheaper places you can find, but I can't complain. Um, they take great care of the horses. My hair is a mess. It's a mess. But no, it's, it's not a bad place. I'm over here closing things up before I'm done. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, you already said how you're doing. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not fully, like, focused. My mind's on 20 different things instead of fully focused. Oh no, she, um, I pay board, so she is paid for. She's paid for, so I don't have to do anything. It's a little dark in her stall. It's a little dark in her stall. I'm going to just brush her off a little bit. Yeah, we just pay a, a monthly fee, um, and then with that, they do everything that needs to be done. Um, I come out here as I wish. But she does all the stuff that needs to be done. 
So there's not much I have to really do. I used to manage horse farms. Um, so I did all that stuff myself. Got an itchy head. She was itching her head. She was itching her head. Hi, Barlow. Oh, no. No, no, no question is a dumb question. No question is ever a dumb question. Not everyone um, lives on a farm. Not everyone understands. Yeah, usually they do. They, she does lay down some. She does lay down some. But for the most part, horses stand and sleep. Um, they usually don't lay down unless they have issues with their knees. Or, see, she's itching her face. <laughs> or they just, they're very, very comfortable. They have to be very comfortable to lay down. They have to feel safe. Um, she feels safe, so we don't have to worry so much about that. But they just don't lay down that often. She's trying to eat her hay. She just wants to be left alone. This guy's always got his head out. Always got his head out looking for attention. Not pony. Not pony. Newman Outdoors, what's up? How you doing? Flip it back to me. Don't think you want to see me, but you get to see me again. But no, um, like I said, I didn't get to go live with Gil tonight, so I thought, well, I'll do a ride stream. I did the ride stream. Yeah, I got to talk a little bit afterwards. Um, see the horse a little bit better. And all that fun stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. It was nice seeing you guys and hanging out. Um, don't feel like any of your questions were dumb. I don't mind the questions, really, I don't. If I didn't want questions, I would not stream live because there's going to be questions. <laughs> there's just going to be questions. So, yeah. This is cool. Awesome. We want to get, we want to have um, property when we go to Tennessee, Roseanne, where we can actually have her on our property. That's our goal. Scrapping together, how you doing? Great to see you. But yeah, our goal is to go to Tennessee and actually have property. But with that note, I do have to get home. It means I got to drive, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to end this stream. I hope you guys have an amazing night. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Like I said, some of you guys came in towards the end, so you didn't get to um, see the ride. But feel free to go back and watch it. We did a little virtual ride. I hear the mess. It's just sticking up like no other. <laughs> Guess if I had a helmet on, you wouldn't see it. Um, but I hope you guys have an awesome night. And we'll catch you Monday for sure. Monday I'll be live at night for sure. I'm going to hopefully do daytime and nighttime. I don't know. Um, okay, awesome, Newman. But I hope you guys have a great night, and we will catch you later. I'm going to get home. Bye-bye. <laughs>